And uh, usually I'm out at the property when I'm going over a firearm, but uh, when I did the intro for this video, I didn't realize the wind was so strong and the initial start of it. You can't hear a word I'm saying because of the wind. So I'll do it here. And uh, on this video, we're talking about a Ruger 1022, a custom one that a friend uh, sold me. And um, it's my first time out on the range with it, uh, sharing it with you guys. So first shots with this Ruger 1022. And um, right now we're going to cut over to where um, you can start hearing me. And it's out at the range. And a friend of mine put this together for me. And I didn't think he'd ever sell one, but he did. <clears throat> anyway. I'll go over a close look of it here in a minute, but I've just been getting out on the range with it a little bit. Though. So I thought I'd do a, you know, first shots with this. I've got a target set up there, about 50 yards. And uh, let's see if we can dial in the scope a little bit. I'll try hitting the four corners. We'll do 20 shots and see where we go. Put ten more and I'll shoot five at the right and then five at the lower left. I'm liking the group I'm seeing. What I'm shooting is federal uh, target grade performance. Right, then we go lower left. All right. All right, this time we'll go lower right. look at this this rifle so it's got a custom wood stock it's, uh, the butt is adjustable here so length and headrest it's got a vortex scope on it um, the charging handles customized it's got a threaded barrel with the muzzle brake on it the barrel's fluted. Uh, let me give you a close-up look at it so you can see. Yep, threaded barrel down to the scope. I love the wood grain. That's a good looking rifle. It's got a custom-made strap, which I have really learned to love. I mean, it's just done fine, I think, all the way around. I couldn't do this. I, I don't have the skill set. But my friend does. And he had a few of these. I still can't believe he sold me one, but anyways. 
that's what friends do help each other out I really like how this adjusts. You get a press button and then that you can pull that in or out and press a button here and pull that up or down. Got a nice grip on it. <sighs> Charging handle. I like that. It's easy to grab. I know it's fun to shoot. I was gonna squirrel hunt with it, but I ran out of time, so that's the way it goes. Anyway, first look at it. We'll see a lot more of this. I plan, I plan on running on a variety of ammo through this to see which one it likes the best. And then that will be my hunting round. So I've got, I don't know, maybe five, six different types of 22 ammo that are um, hollow points. And so we'll come out in the range various days and shoot different ones and see what kind of groupings we get. Um, I think the scope is on from the looks at my rounds downrange right now so I feel pretty confident uh, in that and um, so I think it's time now to to do that I really want to make this into my squirrel rifle and uh, and for me to do that I want the 22 to be really accurate I want to be able to hit a squirrel 50 yards right in the head that's the plan and so you'll be seeing more of this on the on the uh, channel all right thanks for watching like I always say make kindness your business I hope you have a, you're having a great day, and I hope you take a minute to share something with somebody. Uh, make their day a little bit brighter. All right, thanks uh, for Dave and my buddy Lily, who's right over there. That's where she sits when I shoot. She doesn't like uh, sitting next to me, and I don't blame her. It's noisy. So, anyway, for Dave and Lily, out.